Hey. Joining us now in the Element Well Studios, Danielle Morgan, the Executive Director of the Mississippi Tourism Association. Danielle, good to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you for having us. So it appears to me, at least, that folks are bound and determined, even with the increase in the cost of gas and travel expenses, they're going to get out and uh, take some vacation time, and uh, especially in the wake of all the lockdowns and stuff from COVID. And so we hope that lots of folks are coming here to the state of Mississippi to enjoy what we have to offer, which is a whole lot. How's that looking? Absolutely. Well, we're, we're calling it revenge travel. So people, <laughs> people are. They've, uh, they're ready to go. Of course, we are seeing um, we get some travel sentiment data from visitors every, um, every couple of months. And, you know, we are seeing that the, the gas prices are affecting those mm-hmm. driving decisions, but, um, but, but not as... It could be a lot worse. So people are still on the go, and we're certainly a lot of uh, most of our traffic to Mississippi is drive-in traffic. So that's a really important sector for us. But things are things are looking really really good. We just got the latest April data, and year to date, we are um, five percent above 2019. Um, we're tied with with Tennessee and Florida wow. on that for year wow. to date. So we're we're definitely leading the southeast. So that's yeah. really really encouraging. And we also have Elvis Fest, right? Elvis. Fest. Tupelo. That's right. Yes. And, you know, the Elvis biopic is going to be released um, June 24th, I believe. So yeah. um, it'll be a big, big month for Elvis for sure. And that's going on this week, right? Yes. The Elvis Fest. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In, in Tupelo. So I always enjoy uh, driving by when I'm there, the hardware store where ostensibly bought his first guitar i believe right? yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely and you know it's it wasn't what he wanted that's a great that's a great story you'll have to go up to tupelo <laughs> and hear them tell at the hardware store of course they have the new hotel tupelo there really it's cool. a great place to stay so yeah. good times what about uh the mississippi gulf coast how the, they doing the gulf coast is hopping um lots of great events going on i know jeeping the coast just happened this past weekend um, lots of big development. I was down in Bay St. Louis over Memorial Day and um, people everywhere having a great time. Good. Good. Um, you know, Ocean Springs, of course, um, doing well in the casinos. I think they're still having a lot of um, great numbers, too. So, What are some of the other popular spots that attract visitors, tourists into Mississippi? Well, you know, um, definitely uh, Hattiesburg is a big draw, of course. Uh, they've got a big weekend coming up sure this, this weekend. Um, the zoo down there, you know, we've got um, Oxford, of course, is is one of our top communities. The capital city, lots of great things going on there with um, Robert St. John's new yeah. development and all of that. Um, so there's, there's a lot going on all over the state. Natchez. Um, you know, they've got a uh, big 4th of July festival going on with some big music headliners. So um, pretty much there's everybody is back full steam ahead, raring to go. So. Yeah. You know, we just did a remote uh, middays down at two Mississippi museums, which is a, a, a bucket list. Got to see. Got to go through. And it always amazes me whenever we're down there, we we run into folks that are not from Mississippi, but are familiar with the museums, and they make a point to go visit and go through. Absolutely. Those museums, I mean, of course, I think they've exceeded everyone's expectations, no but doubt. they really are um, a, a crown jewel in the capital city for sure. And then, yeah. you know, also our natural resources like um, the, the Natchez Trace, and people come from all over to bike the Trace. Of course, we've got um, the Longleaf Trail down around Hattiesburg, um, and then also up there in New Albany, you know, as well. So that's a huge, huge draw for our state. You've got beautiful natural resources like Tishomingo Park. Sometimes, uh, I don't know if you've ever been there, but it feels like you're not even in (laughs) in Mississippi. That's exactly what I think. Um, So so there's a lot of different diverse outdoor things, too, that people are, you know, I think we saw a resurgence in those outdoor activities over the pandemic. So people are still very strongly interested in those as well. And we we don't want to leave any area out, of course, and and I know you don't as well, but we, we are blessed with such a, a diverse culture and such a rich, colorful history. There's, there's just so much that you, you go into and you say, gosh, this isn't anything like the other town I was in, but this is all still in the same state. I, I think about, you know, the coast all the way up to Appalachia in yeah. that northeast corner and all points in between Natchez. You know, I uh, was down there not too long ago. It's incredible. 
uh, Vicksburg. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'm going to the Delta tomorrow. All incredible. We got museums over in, in Meridian and so forth. We're just totally blessed. Absolutely. We really are. And I think that's one of the really unique assets of Mississippi. You hit it, you hit it right on the head that um, pretty much anything you're looking for, uh, there's, a, there's a regional culture that's going to interest you, whether it's, you know, Native American culture or, you know, um, blues and music history, birthplace of America's music. Of yeah. course, you mentioned Meridian, Jimmy Rogers. I mean, yeah. um, that's just such a tremendous part of our story. So, um, I, and the the people go along with that culture. They're as unique as the culture in those different areas. So, yeah, I think it's no really doubt. special. Not every state has that. So, you were just telling me about uh, the event in Orlando before we came on the air. Craig was in attendance, and our own Marty Stewart performed. That's right. That's right. It's the international powwow uh, that's put on by Travel South International, and they had. Um, um, about 570, I think, in attendance there. Wow. So uh, Marty, I'm sure, wooed them all with the <laughs> opening reception. So um, it was a big hit from all accounts that I've heard. So that's really exciting to see that. Um, while leisure travel's been, you know, really coming back strong, we're still um, seeing uneven recovery in international inbound travel as well as business travel. So those are kind of the two sectors we're working to really bring back to fill that void. Something that, uh, Danielle, that always intrigues me in a positive way is first-time visitors to the state that um, usually are a little stunned. It, it's different in a positive way than what they expect. Unfortunately, we, we get kind of painted in uh, a negative light all too often outside of our state. And there's in this world we live in today, there's such a focus on, on uh, all the, the stains but they don't think they don't talk about the assets and the positives. But when people come here, they come away thinking these are pretty good people. That's right. Well, you know, we hear that time and time again about um, people are so surprised at what they find in Mississippi. And I think that, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to um, send out positive Mississippi to the world. Um, that's the best way. I always say once we get them here, we got them. Yeah, um, typically, most visitors want to come back time and time again. We see that in our data. Um, they're coming back year after year. So it's um, it's just a matter of getting here and um, they fall under the spell of the hospitality <laughs> state. <laughs> How, how vital is tourism to our economy? It's incredibly vital. Um, it's our fourth largest industry in the state. Um, in 2021, we had um, a, a $6.7 billion impact, um, 23.4 million visitors visited the state. Wow. So, of course, that's um, about $677 million in uh, tax dollars generated from those visitors. And for uh, for every billion dollars spent by visitors, that creates 12,000 jobs. So hmm. we have over 100,000 jobs attributed to travel and tourism in Mississippi. So it's a crucial part of our economy. But, you know, it's also crucial to our other economic development efforts, too, because people, if it's a nice place to visit, it's a nice place to live Absolutely. and so we uh, we're starting to work together more with economic development um, agents on singing that song of you know we create cool communities that are thriving um, you know young people that attracts talent um, to live and work there yeah. so. What's uh, what's in the job jar there what's on the radar as we say what that you could tell us about with respect to MTA with respect to MTA as far as um, job just anything you got project-wise going on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, of course, we're um, advocacy is a year-round process sure. these days. Um, you know, it seems like we just ended the legislative session. Of course, there were a lot of great recovery um, projects that came out of that session. We're very grateful to our leadership for those projects. Those will be kicking off late summer, early fall with the Tourism Recovery Fund, which will be marketing and promotion to get visitors back gotcha. in the state. And then also, you know, the Main Street program has some recovery dollars as well as the museum. Museum recovery fund. So okay. um, hopefully those are going to give them that shot in the arm to keep keep staying in those top, keep Mississippi in those top numbers for yeah. the region. Yeah. So it sounds fairly optimistic, you think, for a mature tourism perspective? You know, we are. We definitely are. It's um, I think one thing Mississippi did early on was they continued to invest in marketing how to visit safely. 
and it, it's paid off. You know, that's put us really in a better position even than we were before because we kept pressing on and um, our leadership was very strategic in how we, we put out those messages. And it's it, now we're reaping the benefits. Yeah, no doubt about it. You guys do a great job. And, Danielle, we really appreciate you coming on Middays. Thanks so much, Gerard. Danielle Morgan, Executive Director of the Mississippi Tourism Association, has been our guest. We'll step aside for a break right here on Middays. We're in the element. 